And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for exciting donation deck. We have Maokai Mill. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be trying to mill out our opponent. It may not always work, but when it does work, it's going to be sweet. And that's what we're going to be doing. So how, we, how our deck wins is we play Maokai. We level up Maokai. So we have to have things die or be tossed 25 times. We level up Maokai and obliterate the enemy deck and just leave them with four non-champions. Then, whenever they have their four non-champions, what we do is then we have play Black Market Merchant to steal a non-champion, Pilfer Good, steal two of them, Yordle Grifter, steal another one, and uh, we steal their four cards and then they're dead. Because if you have to draw a card from your deck and you know like the beginning of the turn and you don't have any cards to draw you lose the game and so that's how our deck's going to be trying to win is we're going to be trying to mill out our opponent's stuff um yeah so winning games besides that is going to be pretty difficult and honestly sometimes we mill ourselves out because of like twisted fate uh draws a whole bunch of cards and everything like that like that can, that can kind of be tough so we have to we have to watch out for that too but we're gonna have some exciting games hopefully and uh have some fun so let's let's have an alternate win con yeah yeah you just yeah you lose the game if if you got a draw but you can't game is over yeah so it's not okay so hearthstone you just progressively take more damage if you have to draw okay yeah, so no, it's, it's like magic where you lose the game if you have to draw and you can't. Alright, so we're playing against Burn. Let's get rid of the Glimpse Beyond. I'm going to keep these, though. So, Jaw Hunters only has one toughness, but this is something that can tussle with Boom Crew Rookie. And obviously we're keeping Lifesteal. Look at that. Look at this curve. No, two thorny toads gone. And a withering wheel? Was that withering wheel and two thorny toads? Oh, uh, it was. Heal, heal, heal. All that life gain. So yeah, I basically just think that I have to play that Black Market Merchant. And get the blocking going. And while my opponent did have the absolute perfect card to deal with that 3-2. If it didn't have it, my life would have been better. But... Um, it, you know, takes up their turn three, so it's harder, you know, it's slower for them to progress, so that's good for me. Again, they'll be able to use removal on Maokai, but if they're using burn removal on Maokai, they're not using burn removal on me. Never 
Oh no, Wanderer, another life steal. Alright, fair enough. Perfect. Explosive. No, not perfect. Alright, so back down to ten. We have just the two cards. We're at fifteen out of twenty-five for Maokai. Ooh, love it. Don't love that. Need glimpse beyond sacrifice the thorny toad. I refuse to wilt. Okay, that's good. First big mission. Why do I have to have every single one of those? Where are you going? And all our pilfer goods. And grasp the undying. So close. Uh, so close. Wait, I guess it's not over yet, so we're gonna gain three life from that. Take two. We're not dead yet. Alright, get rid of all their their whole deck except for four cards. Did we steal one of their cards? Where did this get excited come from? I guess we stole their, that get excited from them. Yeah, it was just, it was just kind of weird. All right, so they're down to two cards. That was a good card to steal from them. Remember the objectives. I mean, yeah, we get to kill them normally. I know we can get to kill them with normal damage, but I want to kill them by stealing all their cards. Why does it like drawing from my deck? That's weird. They're down to one card left. If only I could steal one more.
Alright, one and oh. Maokai Mill. We will heal these isles. Wow, what a close game. What a close game. GG's. Where's my GG? Oh, there we go. GG. Okay. Got the first one. Got the first one. Demacia with Gangplank? So I think what I'm kind of deciding with this deck is normally, like, Black Marker Merchant, that's a card I would never get rid of. But we don't really deal damage to the opponent, and I, I think that it's... It's the kind of thing that like we're not gonna like we're not supposed to try to steal their cards early. We're, we're supposed to try to steal their cards late. This has to be like unyielding spirit powder cake, right? Maybe like the mage seekers. Like I play jaw hunters, they go remembrance. I think it's worth it. I mean, I could attack for one, but it's one point of damage. I don't... That, you know, that doesn't really matter. That's not what our deck's about. Yeah, the two Ds mean it's a donation deck. So this is a, a viewer-submitted deck. Yeah, that is true. We did... We did beat a tier one deck. Not bad. Go and harvest it. Sure, we'll trade threes. Keeping their battlefield clear for Radiant Guardian and Remembrance. Good idea. Oh no. The Badger Bear. I'm always up for a round or two. But that's it. Just a round or two. We're not doing three rounds. Don't even get started on three rounds. on three cards. I want to play Abyssal Eye and hit him with Abyssal Eye and draw a card. That's what I want to do. It may be better to play like Wanderer and Dreg Dredgers. Nah, let's just play the Abyssal Eye. Yeah, we, we actually use Glimpse Beyond. It's like the first time ever. So ideally this would be card number five. Drawn for Twisted Fate. Uh, we go to the next turn, I draw a card that's number six. And then, and then if they try to kill Twisted Fate on their turn at card number six, I could glimpse beyond and sack like the Abyssal Eye or something else and draw two and level up Twisted Fate. You still want me dead. Not 
till you scream for mercy. Sure hope they don't kill my twisted fate with one one mana and a powder keg. Parlay slow speed. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. Oh nice. Tajma, you've been winning you've been winning with the elusives with that new deck. Awesome. Oh, actually we were I should update the record. We had, we finished two and three, but Whoops. Um. Um. I guess I'm gonna have too many cards in hand. Cause see, we need to like half things die or toss another 13 things to level this up. Like, that's a lot of things. Sorry, Yordle Grifter. We may just end up milling out. No, no relentless pursuits in the elusive deck. You gotta trust your instincts. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. Maybe we do need like Brood Awakening in this deck. Just to have some more things that die. Like some more like spiderlings that die. Wow, Gangplank's parlay? to uh, turn that on. Yeah, it's probably your Ionia. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't have any I don't have any good ideas of what to do right now. Our library gets hit twice, unfortunately. Thing I don't really want to hit. Something for all of you. Maybe leveling up Twisted Fate early is, is actually pretty bad for me. Because then I don't have, like, the, the card capital. Oh, come on, really? Citrus Courier? Really? I'll play this toad. Dead in their tracks. <laughs> Just completely wasted my entire turn. Nothing like the stink of glory, sweat. 
<clears throat> At least if we have a Maokai in play, we can cast Maokai and shuffle another Maokai into the deck. That's fine. Having a Twisted Fate in play and casting more Twisted Fates to shuffle into the deck to make it bigger honestly doesn't work very well. Son of a that does not work very well. Alright, so you're at 16 out of 25. I just want to get the gold card. I don't even want this twist. Like I, I'd be just fine with this twist of eight dying. I don't know. Maybe I should just. Maybe I should have barriered this black market merchant. Honestly, like, like honestly, because of, like the blue cards and everything, like milling me out. Maybe I should have barriered this thing, or it's not barrier either. Oh, that's true. I could I could have this block of this thing, because right, it was taken from the red card and the blue card. Yeah, I could have blocked this thing instead. Yeah, saved another point of life. Smooth soil is sweet. Okay. Yeah, that, that's that's probably what we need is a little bit more unit generation. I don't know, maybe move away from Twisted... Like, the thing is, is Twisted Fate helps you find all of these cards. Alright, eight. Yeah, we're gonna get milled out. It's a risky game we're playing here.
I hope they don't have another Zipper Carrier. Still seven away from Maokai? Oh, this is gonna be close. I feel like, like, as soon as I, as soon as we level up Maokai, no, they kill my Maokai. Oh, that makes things more difficult. So as soon as we level up Maokai, um, what? Then, like, they're dead, like, immediately, because they're pilfered goods. Um... But now, I guess I'm dead. Yeah, it's kind of bad. Who's on top of the bounty board today? That's kind of bad. Uh, okay, so with with Twisted Fate, uh, when it's when you play it here and it says play a Destiny card, you get to choose which one you want. When it's this one, when it's a leveled up one, it always does blue and then red and then gold for your three spells. They're at 15 cards anyway. We're gonna mill them out. 15. Uh, probably not. Your king has returned. Yeah, they have direct damage. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm just in a lot of trouble. Anyway. So I can play Warning Shot. Get a blue card. Do Pilfer Goods. Get a red card. Meh. By saving that mana, I can play this Dreadway and tap five mana. So Grasp drains six, which so conveniently game plank is at six. Yes, there's Maokai. I need you, Maokai. you <laughs> dog. This gangplank does 12 to anything? Uh, that doesn't... That doesn't feel so good. Kill a ship? It's true. You could drain a ship. So we probably have to, don't we? Is 
So then red card does two. This drains three. This drains six. Red card should clear up that powder keg also. Hopefully. I'm a people person. So now that does two. That's a lot better than 12. Virtue guides me. Hmm. I was wondering if I should have attacked first. So I was kind of thinking that maybe I should attack first. The Dreadway. Nineteen out of twenty-five. I guess I don't care if they gain life, do I? No, I don't care if they gain life. Yeah, I don't care if they gain life. Um, I think I'll pass. This would, this would do a gold card right now, but I don't think we need a gold card. This thing has overwhelm. Oh gosh, I need to kill that, don't I? All right, so yeah, so next turn we can do... Okay, yeah, because we can Warning Shot. Uh, blue card, Withering Wheel, red card. Nothing but the stink of so yeah, we're good. Get to work. Explosives. Oh, right, the gold card does four damage now. So yeah, the gold card would have killed the gang blank now. Yeah, that's a crazy game. So, blue card gets me down to two cards left in library. Which is not many. Two's not a lot. We know one of them's a Maokai, and the other's a Twisted Fate. Yeah, those are our last two cards. One Maokai, one Twisted Fate. Their bones are splinter. Strike for justice. Oh, this has an attack trigger, doesn't Let's it? Let's get to it. The dead don't need riches. Hesitation to tell. It is a tell. Slaughter them all! Light them up! Alright, so this is going to put us down to negative 35. That's not good. We should probably do something about that. Needs you to pay up. You're bluffing. All right, so now positive 10 from negative 35. Positive 10 is a little better than negative 35. Oh. oh! I need to switch these two. I should be blocking with Twisted Fate on here and getting Twisted Fate out of here because these blue cards. Who says I don't share? I didn't think about that, but yeah, I should, I should switch those and have my Twisted Fate die. Oh, a salvage. Where did that come from? Where'd that even come from? I thought I had two cards left in my deck. Was this, like, generated by something? I don't even know where that came from. The Blessed Isles lives through me. King of the Skies! Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. It's our fourth I sub of the day. The yeah, I don't actually have anything to toss with Maokai. I'll make corpses of them all. Yeah, the top of the bounty board himself. Okay, perfect. I can shuffle that back into the deck. Blood 
Nope. Oh, my last card was a Make It Rain? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, no, I, I stole their Make It Rain. That's my last card. All right, so I have no cards left. If I draw a card, I lose. Got to kill him this turn. Or put this Maokai back in my deck. I'm planning on killing him this turn. I need three things to die. We know this is going to die, so I need two other of these things to die. So I need them to do some blocks. They don't do any blocks. I'll be sad. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? They drew a Detain? They drew a Detain? I need Twisted Fate to die. I need Twisted Fate to die. Gosh, I wish I would have changed my blocks that previous turn and had Twisted Fate die. I'm gonna die to this Toys of Fate blue card, aren't I? No, I'm not. I'm I'm good. Am I? Am I good? Oh, this is gonna be so close. I thought my, I was thinking my opponent was going to do a little bit more blocking. Actually, no, I'm going to lose now, aren't I? Because, wait, Maokai's... This is only going to put Maokai to 24. I need Maokai to go to 25. I needed to play the Jaw Hunters, didn't I? Gotta trust your instincts. Crap. Crap. I just messed this up with the Jaw Hunters. If Maokai was leveled up, I would win. Yeah, if Maokai was leveled up, I would win. Ugh. Yeah, I needed to play Jow Jow Hunters. My, my opponent made a perfect block. They made a perfect block. Or just not blocking anything would have been perfect, too. But they made a perfect block. Is it better to Hunters than Pilfer Goods? And look for some way to kill my Twisted Fate. Danger pays. All that glitters. Yeah, I feel like I've really messed this game up. It's a tough deck to play. This is a diff really difficult. Uh, I can't put anything back into my deck. Like how do I can't do that? 
What do you mean just put something back into your deck? You can't. I can't do that. So basically, if Maokai was leveled up, so if I would have played the Jaw Hunters and challenged and leveled up my Maokai, or if I would have challenged, yeah, yes, yeah, so I need to do that. Then I would play Maokai, and then... No, because we'd play Maokai, and then the blue card would go, and we couldn't respond to the blue card. If they do nothing, the blue card just resolves, and we lose. So no, that wouldn't work either. Okay, so let's go. Let's see. What do we have? So shuffle a card from your hand into your deck to draw three at the beginning of the next round. Actually, okay, so what if we try this... Then we're going to blue card it. Soak it in. These aisles will be cleansed. No, I... If my opponent doesn't respond, I can't respond to the blue card either. They're at nine left. How do I kill a unit? How do I kill how do I kill a unit to level up Maokai? I can't figure that out. I have learned patience. No, they're not attacking. They're they're not attacking because they know the Mao so it's not they they're not attacking. See, I don't think that counts as dying. No, because that gets obliterated. I needed one more spot. Holy partner. There's no space. If I just played the Jaw Hunters. Ugh, if I just played the Jaw Hunters, the before attacking, and killed and had my Jaw Hunters die, then we would have to level Maokai, and then that turn, you know, like whenever we cast Maokai that turn, we, it would have been leveled, and instead of playing that five mana card like we did, I would have been able to just play the two Pilfer Goods and steal their deck. So I had the win. I had to play the Jaw Hunters before attacks. My opponent did great at not killing any of my things with their blocks. They did great at that. To be fair, if I play Jaw Hunters and I challenge with Jaw Hunters, they can also just not block with their other things. They may not they may have just not blocked. So to be fair, even if I would have played Jaw Hunters, they may have just like not blocked at all. And then I still would have been in the same spot. Yeah, I, I leveled up my Twisted Fate too early and did, you know, basically I, yeah, I leveled up Twisted Fate too early and I got too many blue cards and didn't level up, didn't focus on leveling up Maokai enough. Which I, I could have done. Yeah, mill decks are fun to play. <laughs> Takes forever to play one game. That is true. Dang, we're at 50 minutes and we've just played two games? Yeah, this deck's very slow. But it's fun. It's, it's interesting. You kind of have to recalibrate how you're thinking and how... 
like what cards matter and how the game is played. Like it's a complete different axis. Axis? Axes? Yeah, you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's a different puzzle that we're we're trying to solve than normal. Like, we all like know the normal puzzle of you, you play your units, you attack, you win, yada yada. It's a, it's a completely different game. I don't really like being at 20 and casting Grasp of the Undying, <laughs> you know, at 20 life. I don't love that. Oh no, come on. Dude, Hired Gun has been wrecking us. That's such a great card here, a 3-4 Hired Gun. They get to challenge with the trigger. That's just perfect. I can't do anything. I mean, I guess I can, I can use Grasp and make it rain to save Maokai. Do I do that? I mean, Maokai's just gonna die again the next turn. I'll... I'm save like, I would normally want to do that to save Maokai, but really we're only saving Maokai for a turn. If the Maokai didn't have Vulnerable... Why are you doing such cool things? This game's just not working out at all. We are a slower deck, and my opponent's just being super aggressive. Time to make and this game's not working out one bit. Four. Easy. Great hand. Played against a lot of opponents with great hands today. So we need to take out Yoink cards to put in cards that level Maokai? I mean, that would be a, just a different deck. 
we're we're a mill deck. We need the yoink cards to mill them out. That's that's like the point of our deck. Yeah, I did change a couple of... Yeah, it is a donation deck, but I did change a couple of things because the person that donated said, feel free to change it a bunch. And so I did just a couple of things, but... Um, yeah, you know, like we had... Like right before, we had Vile Feast, and we took out the Vile Feasts for uh, gra two Grass the Undying and a uh, Parlay. I would, I would not say Black Market Merchant and Yordle Grifters do nothing for us. You got their base. It's a 2-2 two -two for 2. So it's a, it's a unit so they can die for Maokai. Grifter being a 3-3. Three -three. Everybody's playing Warning Shot these days, aren't they? Toad. If you don't want to block, it's fine. I'm going to take your stuff. Now we can have Withering Whale for two. So only considering going like Grass the Undying for four on the Gangplank. Um, you know, maybe playing a deck hand, getting another one of these, but then, then we don't get either of the five mana spells. I basically wanted to do something pre-combat because I didn't want them just to be able to have Gangplank challenge my Powder Keg and have the five overwhelm while killing my Powder Keg and I don't get any kind of blocker. I didn't really want that to happen. Rain. A, a control deck with decimate and counterfeit copies and maybe a little bit of aggro. Could that work? Sounds really, really slow. At least that part of the deck. You're spending an you're spending in like the problem with counterfeit copies is you're spending a card to just put other cards into your deck which is a really poor use of a very valuable resource you know your cards are your most valuable resources that's a very poor use of a resource you only get one one card a turn I 
Everybody's playing warning shots these days. That's what it feels like. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. <laughs> I wonder if they're very happy with this thorny toad that they got from me. What do you think about Dawn Speaker Bilge Water Powder Kegs? I had not even considered that, but I like it. Yeah, I like it. no drawback from playing warning shot it's free yeah the drawback is you're using again you're using a card just to do one damage to the enemy nexus again your cards are just a really valuable resource and so it's on face value it's a very poor use of a, of a card Imagine if your whole deck is warning shots. You'll you'll lose a hundred times out of a hundred. There's no chance you could possibly win. That's the downside, is that the card is terrible on face value on its own. Four for three three with the warning shot isn't doing much for us. Still three three. The warning shot <clears throat> for us, the warning shot, like it's very difficult for us to trigger plunder. So like after we have a leveled up Maokai in play, and if we need to steal their cards like pilfered goods, we do need to like tr trigger plunder. And so the Yordle Grifter giving us the warning shots to be able to do that can help us out. The problem with this game, this game I truly have drawn all, I truly have just drawn all um, steel cards and removal. And so I have been casting a whole bunch of steel cards. And my opponent really hasn't been giving me much, giving me a warning shot, yuck. But anyway, and so if we, we won't really have steel cards left for after we level up Maokai. Jealous. Hey, Scrub Lord. Nice, you're a proud member of the Sejuani Swain fan club. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm a member of that fan club as well. Hey, our first champion. We only have 10 cards left in our deck and we finally found our first champion of the game. That didn't take a while or anything. I was gonna say, what do you do with blocking the one three? So 
We're at 19. We glimpse beyond, that's 20. Plus we mill two. 21, 22. We draw another two. We'd be down to six cards. Let's glimpse beyond this, not let them get that parlay if their plan is Riptide Rex. Oh, suddenly we have champions. Suddenly, we have champions. <laughs> yeah, here comes Riptide Rex. I think I just let Riptide Rex kill these two things, right? Oh, Black Market Merchant. It's still Rex. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone! It's gonna be another close game. Seven cards left in deck. Five cards away from Maokai leveling up. It's gonna be another close game. Yeah, an ethereal deck. Um, I don't have a, an ethereal deck that I absolutely love. This is probably my favorite though, this, this Maokai aggro here. All right, so I'm going down to 12. That's an acceptable life total. down to four cards left. I don't really have, like, steel cards left except for, like, just, like, this Yordle Grifter, basically. I'm not greedy. My friends yes! Oh, that's so good! Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, that's good. What else you got? Another one? Not another one. Another... Stealing all these warning shots from our opponent. <laughs> That'll do it, though. They can't kill us. Life triumphs. Milled them out. Life triumphs. No need to attack. Mill them out. <laughs> They gave us the goods. That was pretty awesome. Pilfered goods.
<laughs> Bilgewater versus Bilgewater seems like both players are just playing with the same deck. Yeah, basically. Armalex. Get the salvage. Against the slow Carmelux deck. Yeah, that card definitely won that game for us. Get him! We got rid of the pilfered goods. Just sad. I don't mind like the parlay and the withering whale. Those are two good hits. I don't want to draw those. No, another pilfer goods and a black market merchant. Ugh. Two pilfer goods. That's weird. Could you imagine playing the Yoink Mirror match with a physical card game? Yeah, that's that's the thing about physical card game. You can't really you can't really like steal your opponent's cards and put them into like your hand and everything. Like, this 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 game doesn't translate to physical card game. No, all three pilfer goods. Uh, I haven't done a Jinx full on discard in, in a while. I mean, that was that was a popular deck kind of before discard aggro with Jinx. I haven't played that in a long time. The problem with that deck is you have to play a bunch of cards that aren't very good. And hope that you draw like Jinx and that your Jinx survives and and everything. Nine cards over there. So in. A lot of cards. Slow down, will you? Not sure if I'm supposed to glimpse beyond in that scenario. Virtue guides me. Good. Vengeance is gonna be good. Oh, come on. Boo. Our Maokai is at 16. The rot must be cut away. 
This will help. Let the light die no. Too. Now I can't vengeance this luck. Deny available. I would like to block, please. That seems like a weird attack. Alright, so unfortunately we did toss all three of our pilfer goods and all three of our black market merchants. All six of those cards are tossed. So I'm relying on Yordle Grifter to get this done. They're at four cards left. No! Yordle Grifter. Help me out. They did have deny for vengeance. Cease. <laughs> it's all good. Give them room to spread their leaves. Yeah, if they if they have uh, they they need to have it in they need or like yeah they can play karma and they can play the karma spell and create another karma in their deck so so they would have had to have two karmas in their hand at the time because remember we obliterated all the non champions in their deck we know they had one karma that they play, put in play if they have another one then yes they could play it right now. I tire of waiting. Which they do. From many Pushing my limits. Really about the only way we could lose that is if they had deny to protect karma and another karma in hand. And of course they do. At least we got a perfect make it rain. Alright, do I go for killing Karma or Lux? We know they have another Karma in hand. Or, like, in their deck now. I guess it still has to be Karma. I guess I should... I mean, Glimpse beyonding that, I probably should. Okay, so the good news is they don't have. Dang. So they don't have another deny in hand right now.
Well, that doesn't seem very fair. I have three cards left? Gosh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I have no steel cards. We tossed... <laughs> We tossed all three Pilfer Goods and all three Black Market Merchants. And our Yordle Grifter missed. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Some bad luck here, this game. We just had one Pilfer Goods. Just had one of them. experimenting with Zevi. Yeah, Zevi is great. But yeah, okay, you've been pairing Zevi with Jinx and Teemo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm always up for a round or two. Yeah, Zevi is pretty great. I really, really wish this would help this healed our Nexus. You know, we'd be at 12, we'd be able to play another one. Fit, like, that'd make a big difference if this healed our Nexus. That'd be a big deal. So we know they have one Karma in their library. Stop. If that Karma is their last champion, then they would have this turn to kill me. That was a great, great play by them. That was perfect, because that gets them the final spark that does the extra damage, and that's going to kill me. I was hoping they would go straight to attacks. I have nothing to play. A beacon through the dark. Darn, so they're going to kill me on their last turn. Ugh. <sighs> Such a close game. You know, if we just have, like, one of, like, the black market merchants and pilfer goods, like, all that kind of stuff, or Yordle Grifter doesn't miss. If we have something to play. If this, if this just helped, if this healed us, we would win this game. Like, if, if this just healed us, this game would be over, like, we would have won this game. So many other things went wrong.
uh, all we, we the next balance update is next week. Um, on Monday, they'll announce on their news website, um, just playrunterra.com on the, the news part. They'll that site there. They'll announce what the balance patch update will look like on mon on Monday. And then Tuesday is like there, it'll be implemented, but we won't see it. And then Wednesday is whenever it goes live for everybody. That's the schedule for next week. Anyway, it's still pretty good with our Maokai Mill deck. We went two and three. And, um, you know, that last loss felt pretty unlucky. Like, we, we really they had a lot of bad luck with our uh, tossing and everything that last game. And... Uh, one of our earlier losses, I could have won, potentially, if I would have played the Jaw Hunters. I guess it depended on how they blocked, uh, but that was super, super close. It definitely ran into some super, super close matches. It was it was a fun deck to play, an interesting deck to play. It was something completely different and off the wall. Um, you know, you really have to, like, think about all the cards kind of differently with this deck leveling like it would be easy it would be nice to be able to level up maokai easier than what we did i'm not a huge fan of vile feast these days but with that said maybe like make it rain didn't look good maybe vile feast over make it rain um to give you that extra spiderling to help chump block and help uh level up your maokai a little bit more maybe Without Make It Rain, playing Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods is really, really tough without Make It Rain. Um, you know, that's that's kind of what the Yordle Grifters are for, though. And that's the other thing. Is if we if you take out Make It Rain and replace it with Vile Feast, that would make Yordle Grifter even worse. Um, so, uh, actually, yeah, I don't know if I'd want to do that. But there we go. Oh, you're welcome, Glad. Yeah, fun donation deck here. Thanks. Yeah, we had some tough situations in there. All right, that's Maokai Mill. All right, we got uh, Bannerman Vi, a lot easier deck to play. Bannerman Vi, super easy to play. Uh, that's going to be our next deck. Those of you all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Is there any way to, um, is there any way to do this where we can have, uh, where we can level up Maokai easier and faster, yet stay alive? yet also get more Bilgewater cards in our deck for Yordle Grifter. Is that, like, are those things possible? Maybe. Glimpse Beyond wasn't good. Maybe we take out Glimpse Beyond and we get something else instead of Glimpse Beyond. But what that card is, I don't know. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Maokai Mill. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.